Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian MVC, strong style, nerd strong style, cinephile, DC fandom. There are so many things, so many segments I've been wanting to geek about for a while now. I wanted to get to this video before shenanigans happen, so I'm just doing some catch-up work now. But first up on the docket is Wonder Woman, so let us geek about that for a scant few minutes. Now, DCA, or DC fandom, um, I think was a cool virtual event, virtual con and I guess if there's one positive small thing you could say about the Rona is it brought us DC fandom because likely some of these um, things that we got to see this past weekend would have been on display at like San Diego Comic-Con or, or things like that where not all of us, certainly myself included, would not have been able to attend. I'm going to get to a San Diego Comic-Con one of these days, one of these years. It's just super expensive to think about it. So I just... You know, it's on my bucket list, but something that's kind of like down the line. But this kind of made them have to kind of make it easier for us to see um, the trailers and the panels. We didn't have to wait for uh, just uh, sketchy uh, leaked cell phone cameras and, and, and footage and that sort of thing. We just got to see it on Front Street crisp and clear. So that was cool. So like I said, first up on the docket is Wonder Woman. And I'll just speak on Wonder Woman just for a short bit, a scant few minutes, because we got a look at Cheetah, not Kristen Wiig in the Cheetah spotted clothing, which was revealed, I guess, in a Lego set a while ago. And then there's some dolls, there's a series of dolls. I forget if they're Barbie or not. I saw them at Walmart, little pop-up display of uh, Kristen Wiig on, you know, for a Cheetah doll. And it was her in, like I said, just le like Cheetah spotted clothing. And that was my greatest fear when I saw that, that that was going to be like their Cheetah. And I was like, come on now. But in this, trailer, which we find out more, a little bit more information on the plot, we see a final form cheetah where she like levels up and it's full on like CG, like humanoid cheetah, not like the crappy stuff and you saw in cats, but um, a final form mean looking cheetah that's really going to give Diana a run for her money. Really looking forward to see that. Really looking forward to seeing Gal Gadot get another stab at Wonder Woman to further develop the character. And I was kind of hesitant when I first saw the, you know, the first teaser where uh, Steve Trevor's back and kind of like wondering why, because the whole big thing about Wonder Woman, which I watched again a couple days ago, was on like TNT or something like that, was when he gets blown up in the plane and she goes Super Saiyan after that and is able to defeat Ares, which I don't like that as, as something that happens. Like her action, her, like, like I said, going Super Saiyan, um, is because like her dude got blown up. Uh, to me, that's not like Wonder Woman. I, I guess there are other reasons, other factors that go into that, but ultimately it happened because her dude got blown up. To me, having her defined by what happens to a dude, it just, I, I don't like that, but that's just me. Um, but we find out that Maxwell Lord, through whatever mystical shenanigans, can grant people whatever it is they desire. Hence Kristen Wiig saying she doesn't want to be a nobody anymore. She wants to be an apex predator, which sets her on her path to facing Wonder Woman. She sees Diana as just someone who's like a god, like sitting, you know, up on high, looking down on us like we're ants. And she just wants to take her down a peg, which is really not a bad reason for wanting to go after. It doesn't really make her a super villain, I don't think. And hopefully that's the kind of stance that they take, where she's not like a villain outright. She's not a mustache twirling, you know, world domination sort of villain. It's making it a very personal uh, thing for her to take down Wonder Woman. We see that's how Steve comes back because what Diana desires is for Steve to come back. Of course, he's awkward, we're gonna get a bunch of whole awkward uh, culture, you know, fish out of water type of situations with him and the setting, which I guess is gonna be kind of a reverse of how like Wonder Woman was the fish out of water in the first Wonder Woman movie. Now he's gonna be the fish out of water in the Wonder Woman sequel. Ideally, it ends with whatever. Ideally, it ends with him gone again. I don't want this to be a, method, a tool to bring him back. He like sacrificed himself in the first movie. It was a big part of the movie. Maybe this will be her having to sacrifice him, having to sacrifice himself again, her having to sacrifice her happiness with him because he's got to go away again because they destroy whatever means Maxwell Lord uses to bring him back in the first place. That's what I think is going to happen. That's what needs to happen because I just don't want it to be a retcon of the first movie where he dies. You know, I know retcons are famously used in comics, stuff like that, but I just don't want to see it here. Other than that, looks like it's going to be action-packed. We see again the shot of her web swinging on lightning, which just makes Diana, or Donna Troy dying in Titans that much stupider. Again, it's like another reminder of how stupid so many aspects of Titans was, but that's a whole other video for another time. But anyway, all in all, it was a good uh, trailer, good look at Wonder Woman, uh, fleshing out some of the story, but not giving us too much. And it's just good to see Godot as uh, Godot, Godot 
as Wonder Woman again, just kicking butt and just what's gonna ratchet up the action, really show why she's an Amazon, her strength, speed, fighting prowess. I just wanna see more of that against a capable opponent, not just her just beating down like, you know, regular human army guys, like her fighting a supervillain that can match her strength and speed and ferocity. Can't wait to see it happen. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me, social media. We got Suicide Squad to talk to. I'm definitely gonna get to a video about that. So many good things about it. I'm stupid, stupid stoked for Suicide Squad. And then of course we saw a look at uh, Matt Reeves, the Batman, which actually looks kind of interesting. And then, you know, everybody was sack riding on Zack Snyder for his Snyder cut of the Justice League. We'll get to that mess as well. Anyway, until next time, I'll just geek.